Hi everyone, my name is Siabong today and welcome to my channel, The Air Tracky. A lot of people who follow me on Instagram knows that I'm here back in Dimapur and a lot of people DM me regarding the fact that Kolkata Airport is now locked down and from cities like Delhi and Maharashtra and some cities and they have been asking me how I reach here. So basically in this video, I will try to help all of you who are now uh, also stranded in cities like Delhi or any city and wants to come back home. So I'll show you which is the best route to come back home. So first things first, I took two flights. One is uh, Air Asia and the other is Air India. So from Delhi to Imphal, I took an Air Asia flight via Guwahati. And the second flight that I took is Air India from Imphal to, to Dimapur. So the, the Air Asia flight that I took was around 6.50 a.m. in the morning and I reached around 10.30 in, uh, in the morning itself. And then from from Imphal, I, I took another flight around 1, 1.10 p, 1, p.m. which is in the afternoon and I took a flight, Air India flight and reached Dimapur around 2.30. A lot of people have been asking me on how package tag is done. So these days what we do is you just need to write, get a paper on your own and with the, in a paper you just need to write your flight name, your departure and destination your booking ID, your name, and your date of travel. You just need to get that paper and write all of that down and paste it on your package. The second thing that you need to do is obviously the web check-in. So this is what we do is we do not need to go to the airport and do our check-in. We need to do it from our home itself. So wherever you have booked it, Air Asia or Air India or anything, you just need to web check in and so once you web check in you will get a, pep, uh, a sheet and then you need to print them so this is a printing print copy of that item so it's written here boarding bus and airport guide for easy step uh, security okay you just and you will get your uh, flight name your name details everything and you will get your uh, scan barcode scanner you'll get something so you just need to get this uh, and go to the airport so once you reach the airport you just need to carry this you just need to put this this QR code in the machine and once you put in the machine something comes out which looks like this this is the uh, the main boarding pass and once you get this you just need to do the normal process that we used to do before in the airport you will do all the check-in and everything and the next thing a lot of people also ask me how I got the face shield and if it's compulsory to wear the PPE kit no it is not compulsory to wear the PPE, PPE kit so basically in a flight what happens is there is three row in I mean A, B, C, D, E, F so if you stay in the middle ones then you will get a PPE, PPE kit if you don't have a PPE kit uh, if they don't provide you a PPE kit that basically means you are sitting in one of those corner and then obviously you will get the face shield and face mask which is which every person will get before boarding the flight and there will be temperature check-ins for at least two to three times in every gate that you pass in the airport uh, yes that's the only thing that you do and after you reach uh, Guwahati as well they will also sanitize the whole flight so make sure to uh, wear comfortable clothes and because you will be wearing a lot of face shield and a lot of things will be there and you cannot just open it and close it and you won't be provided with food or anything of that such so please be prepared to wear comf please be prepared and wear comfortable clothes and once you reach Infal, things are pretty chill there to be honest You just need to get your booking ID and show it to them and once you show it to them they will give you a ticket on your own which is this one but before you get this one they will also ask you to fill up a form this is like a self-declaration form once you reach Dimapur airport the officials will take you to Agri Expo in a bus in a C bus So once you reach Agri Expo, they will, you you will first have to do your registrations, put up your phone number, your house number, where are you coming from, and all these sort of details. You will be needing them. And after your registrations is done, you will go to the next counter where you will have to put up your. They will check your temperature. They will check all the medical stuff will be there, and they will also ask you which hotel you are going to or if it's a government quarantine center so you have to know uh, you have to be 
decide it before you reach there so that they will help you out better and they will also ask for uh, phone numbers that can reach you if your phone is not uh, working uh, yes that's it once your temperature check-in is over the next thing that you will have to do is they will take you to a place where you have to have your lunch so they provide us with proper food like rice and sabji and everything so once you have that they will take you to uh, if you are in the government quarantine center they will take you by a bus all of you together and if you are in the private uh, paid quarantine then they will take you to a in a bus as well and all of you will be sitting together all those people in the paid quarantine centers and a police and some people will assist you and make sure to drop each and every one of you in the in your respective paid quarantine hotels and also if you do not know which uh, if if you guys want to know on how my hotel looks like and the place where I'm staying looks like and the tariffs and everything and also if you guys have more questions and uh, more doubts on how to travel you can always comment down below or you can DM me on Instagram I will make sure to help you guys and also reach home safely so thank you so much for all your prayer support to all those who told me safe journey and everything thank you so much to everyone and yes see you guys soon and bye take care